Okay, we're just finishing up uh, prepping up a TD42 crankshaft ready for assembly. So, what basically has happened here is the crank has been chemically cleaned, um, gets a visual inspection for any damage, and then we'll crack test it. And uh, once we uh, have measured all the journals to make sure that they're round and no taper and the crankshaft's not bent, we'll linish the journals in the lathe with a special micro polish belt to get a real nice surface finish on the journals and um, after that it's pretty well ready for assembly after washing a lot of rifle brushing through the oil holes here we run uh, special brushes through there to get rid of any debris and um, then it's basically ready for assembly uh, this particular crank is a non-turbo crankshaft which is going to turbo application so we're running a specially made lightweight flow wheel which we've balanced um, nice CNC produced uh, flow wheel but you can see here the holes we've drilled in when we balanced it it was um, 27 grams out of balance so everything's worth spinning up and balancing definitely and uh, even the crankshaft was 20 grams out on the on the front, so we removed metal on the counterweight there, 20 grams of material, it doesn't sound like a lot but when it's uh, spinning at a couple of thousand revs it adds up to a lot of weight and we've removed weight off the rear of the crankshaft that was 15 grams out on the rear and um, so this is going together with a set of H-beam rods and coated skirted pistons, ceramic coated um, once again they run a 30 mil diameter gudgeon pin on the turbo engine bigger diameter pin for more strength pistons totally different internally crowns nearly three times the thickness in the crown over a non-turbo piston so it's not advisable to turbocharge a non-turbocharged engine at all people do they get away with it but usually ends up in tears eventually and uh, a lot of people ask about the differences between the NA crankshafts and the turbo crankshafts. The NA crankshaft runs a smaller diameter rear seal area and it runs a small thread on the front of the crankshaft which once going to a turbo application it, it doesn't allow any uh, any strength problems in the application. So down here we've got a turbocharged factory crank with a large thread on the front you see the difference of twice the size thread and the rear seal diameter on the rear of the crank is um, three or four mil larger uh, and the rest of the crankshaft is is the same integral strength so there's no problems in using a in a crank in a uh, turbo application once you properly machine